Hey YouTube, JC18904 here with a new update of my first Traxxas Slash Ford F-150 Raptor SVT two-wheel drive. I gotta say, all around excellent truck. If you guys ask me, Traxxas is the one to buy. I recommend this one. It's very tough. I'm gonna be having race videos coming up of a racetrack we'll build in our backyard. Now on for my update. Also, Travis did a ten star job when they did this truck. As you can see, the paint looks very much like the Ford Raptor blue, which is called a blue flame metallic. The parts I'm going to be getting are going to be front and back Venom shocks. They're going to have blue springs and dark gray caps. And for the front, I'm going to be upgrading the steering box. That'll help with some of the weight if it's going to be doing willies. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Now, on for the back, it's going to have the Integrity 09 Series hub carriers. They're also going to be blue and aluminum. Now, next is going to be the dry shafts. They're going to get upgraded to MIP steel CVD axles. They're going to be lightweight. They're going to come with auto mounting hardware and they're going to have be probably about big rounds of pencil. That'll help with when it jumps, it won't go like this in the air. It won't bring the backing down. It should jump pretty much straight up in the air. Because you can tell there's a lot of weight back here. That's why it kind of squats when it jumps. Next is going to be the Valenian 3500 Brussels Waterproof System. It's going to have the VXL3S. It's also going to be waterproof. I'm also going to be getting a fan for it to help keep it cool. Now, when I was talking about willies, it's because I'm thinking with the stock battery and my pot willies because a 5000 LiPo makes it pop willies and this battery runs almost like a LiPo I've run about 20 runs on it and it's still get more powerful it's got 3000 8.4 power cell 7 cell and it's just pretty powerful the got the gold plated Traxxas connectors on it. That's how it comes stock. Now, I think that's it for now. There will be installation videos of the front and back shocks, the hub carriers in the back, the front steering blocks, and I'll try to get one of the tight motor being swapped out to the Valenium. And I'll try also to get the dry shafts being put in. And comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you got any questions, just ask. I'll try to help you best I can. And we'll see you guys later.